Hey guys, Tapdog here, and today on A Little Alchemist Helper, I'm going to be going over my new account, showing you guys how to make it a smaller size, and also reveal the name for my new character. So let's jump into it. Um, for starters, we had the poll. I had uh, quite a few responses, so thank you for everyone who left your responses. And the grand winner for the new name is... Underdog! So thank you guys. Um, it is the underdog where it is misspelled in two different ways, so I appreciate that. Um, underdog won um, over Top Dog, which was like Tap Dog but with the O, um, by just one vote uh, between the two of them. So um, thank you everyone for, for voting, and um, my new character, Underdog, is now named. Um, so I appreciate that. I'll try to go through the um, profiles and find one that I like that goes with the name. Um, right now I just have it as auto, but I'll see if I can find a dog-themed one, like Pebbles maybe, or, or something like that to go along with that theme. Um, but anywho, I wanted to show you guys my um, progress. So let me go to my deck first, and I apologize if I pop out a screen here and there. Uh, I have my deck in my hand, and you guys are seeing it up on the screen uh, next to me here. So, um, my deck has 135 cards in it, and frankly, that's too many. Um, and I just want to show you guys how to uh, figure out what cards you want. Uh, when you're starting off, you probably are going to want more than 35 cards in your deck, and that's because um, it actually takes a little bit longer to, to do your battles at the start because you don't do as much damage. So I'm thinking I might want to have a deck that has about 50 cards. Um, so the first thing I would recommend is sorting your cards by their rarity. That way you can see what your, your highest end cards are. So I've got my Onyx superhero here that I um, got from a pack. Again, this is a free-to-play deck, and I got Onyx from one of the packs. Uh, all of my diamond cards are also from packs. Um, if you need help learning how to get more gems, um, make sure you watch Mr. Andersam's video. I'll link that at the end of this video for you guys. It tells you how to earn the gems and what our, uh, the best strategy is. So I'll look through here and kind of um, get an idea of the cards that I have. Uh, it's actually going to be somewhat easy for me. I'm going to be just getting rid of all of my gold cards because I have so many diamond cards. But I want to show you guys how to choose which of your diamond, or, or I'm sorry, which of your gold cards to keep, um, because I'm guessing quite a few of you guys might not have as many diamond cards as I have here. Um, but I do have a couple combo cards, so I've got cursed and I've got multiples. Um, I'm working on getting multiples to level four so I can get all the combos for it. I do have one other multiples as well. It's currently only level one though. And then I have all my gold cards here, as you can see. After all the gold cards, quite a few gold cards, uh, you'll get to my other combo card there of multiples, and then we get into the um, silver combo cards. So uh, I only have one chinchilla. Um, I have all of my knights, magics, um, and wizards. I need one more sword and one more superhero. And then you get into all my bronzes, and you can see them all here. I'm going to keep all my combo cards for now. Um, and I'm going to keep all of my diamond cards and get rid of those gold cards. Um, but let's show you guys. So how do you decide? Well, the first thing I would do is rather than go to the edit deck, I'd actually go to the upgrade card section. And I'm going to, again, sort these by rarity. And then I'm going to go over to my gold cards. And what I'm going to look for is what is its final form. So take, for instance, Cleric. I'm going to click on this, and if you scroll all the way to the far end, you'll see what its um, final form is. So this one has Weaken, which is the, the Weaken version of Curse. So uh, what Curse does is it gets rid of your um, opponent's entire uh, card attack. This one only halves it, so if they have an attack of 20, it puts it down to 10. Um, so what I'm going to look for is if, if I'm wanting to keep some of my cards first, um, if I have two of that card, um, I probably want to keep that because I have the ability to fuse it in the future. But then second, the, the two cards that are going to be the most beneficial to me in the arena are going to be ones that um, double my attack or ones that will remove 
my opponent's defense. So um, cleric does neither of those, so that would probably be one I would um, dust. Then you've got commander of sin. Another curse card here. Um, so this one's dif different than weaken. Weaken only halved the attack of your opponent. This one gets rid of it completely. This could be beneficial to you. I would probably get rid of it myself. Um, then you have the um, Cursed Aztec Prince. That's a protection card. Probably wouldn't keep that. You've got the Cursed Monkey Paw. Another Cursed card. A Dragon Rider. Now here's a Reflect. Reflects, what they do is any damage that's done to you, half of that gets bounced back. So um, if, if you did 10 damage to me, 5 of that damage is also going to hit you too. So these can be useful, but this one has such a high defense that it's really not worth it. So I'd probably get rid of that as well. And so I'm just going to keep going through till I find some that are um, of a different type. It's a lot of curse cards here, it looks like. So here's an Amplify. Uh, Amplify um, is uh, one that will, whatever your attack is, so I have 17 attack, it's going to add another half of that, so 8.5 or 9 points of damage. So instead of doing 17 attack, I would actually be doing 26 attack. So this is a potential one that I would keep. However, I don't really like that the, the attack is so low. Uh, another example is Gorzilla. Now Gorzilla has a 22 attack, so you, you half of that is 11, so you add that to the 22, and you have a 33 attack. Gorzilla I would keep, because that's a nice, strong attack, 33 attack. Um, and that's basically the idea. Let me see if I can find anything else besides these uh, protection or block cards. Uh, we also have Siphon, which is a healing card. Probably wouldn't keep a Siphon. It's not very helpful to me. Absorb would be. Absorb um, whatever damage you do. Um, it gives you the exact amount of damage into your health, whereas Siphon only does half of that amount. And then here's a Crushing Blow. So this is the other one I would recommend keeping. What Crushing Blows do is whatever the enemy's card attack defense is, I'm sorry, whatever the enemy's defense level is, it completely ignores that and does directly 24 damage to them. This is a great card to use in your arena. So this would be one I would probably recommend to keep. So again, your Crushing Blows, your Curse Cards, those are the two that are the best to keep. Um, you can keep other ones as well if you need to, but those are the ones I would recommend. I wouldn't recommend Curse Cards, wouldn't recommend Siphon Cards. Crushing Blow, yes. And uh, Amplify, um, yes. I think that's another Defense card. And that's pretty much it. I don't want to take all your guys' time up, so another one that would be good would be Swarm Queen. And I might end up keeping a couple of those gold combo cards that are the um, Critical Strikes, just so you guys can see them. Um, and finally, Vengeful Spirit, Curse Card, and Wonderful Chin, which is a block or a defensive card. So that's it. Um, so I will... Um, come back to you guys in a minute after I've gotten rid of all these cards to show you what my deck looks like now that I've gotten rid of them. Alright, I'm back and um, I got rid of those cards, however, I still got 92 cards in my deck, as you guys can see. So then my next guess is I'm going to have to do the same thing looking at my combo cards. I might get rid of a couple of the ones that just don't make good high-end combos, and also do the same thing with some of my diamond cards that are either um, not going to be useful in the long run, um, or just aren't worth my time or effort to um, raise up any further. So what I'll do is I'll return again um, when I'm able to cull that down a little bit further and get a more manageable looking deck. Alright, so I've taken some time to go through all of my diamond cards and all of my combo cards and I've gotten my deck down to a manageable size. I'm thinking realistically uh, somewhere between 50 to 60 is the best place to be. So now I'm down to 58. That gives me a little bit of room to grow if I need to but it also helped me pare down to just the bare bait bones that I think are going to be the, the useful cards for me 
as I'm starting out. So I've got my um, deck here and I'll just kind of walk you guys through it. I've got three Banshee Empresses. I've kept these in because they're critical strike cards. I actually have a fourth one too, so I'll eventually be able to fuse both of those uh, down the line. That's a long ways away from now. I also have my Demon Hero. Another. Um, these are all um, the ones I've kept for the most part are my um, Critical Strikes and then my Crushing Blows because those are the ones that are going to help me move up fast in the arena. I did keep my Dragon Princesses in here. I will probably get rid of them in the near future. I've only kept them because they're um, helpful as a damage blocker. Um, occasionally when I'm fighting against uh, someone like Otto and he pulls out a a high attacking card, um, but I probably will be getting rid of these. I only kept them in because of such the, the, the defense they have. Again, some more cards that um, turn into the uh, critical strikes or crushing blows. I'll probably get rid of a couple of these that, um, like Fighting Champion, if I don't have a pair for it, I'll probably get rid of the second one. I'd like to have at least two of each card. So same thing with Gunslinger. I've got three of these, so I probably will get rid of the third card. Um, I'm keeping Hero League because of the defense. Uh, that's going to be long-term for Heroics. Um, and then Multi-Dream, same thing. I'm, I have three of them. I'll probably keep two of them and get rid of the third one, but I have it in my deck for now. So as you can see, if I got rid of all those cards that I had the, the odd pairings of, I'd be down about another five or six cards. So again, being in that 50 to 60 range. Then I've got my um, combo cards here. Again, my three gold combo cards. I've kept all my silver combo cards in here. Probably need to get rid of one of those magics, so I'll get rid of one of those because I'm only supposed to have three, not four. And then um, all of my bronze combo cards. I got rid of some of the ones that are not really good to use, such as um, Undead and uh, Snake and Tree. Um, they're good at the start of the game, but as I'm starting to progress further, I'm readjusting my deck. And um, once I get to a point where I'm not really going to have any bronze combo cards in my deck, that's when I'll start using the Optimizer. I'll probably have more um, of the gold combo cards at that point and um, more silver combo cards at that point. But anyhow, that's just a quick look at my, um, my deck, how to kind of cull it down, get it down to a manageable size. I hope that's helpful to you guys. Um, one other piece of big news from Chin today was uh, they are going to be updating the game sometime this week to add in the Christmas pack. Um, the Christmas packs don't go live till Christmas Day, but they last for 12 days. It's the 12 days of Christmas. And um, outside of that, they also are going to be lowering the price for all card packs going forward down to 50 from the 72 it currently is. So if you've been saving up, keep saving up until you get that because that will be a great deal going forward. The other bit of news they gave us is if you play in the Heroics, all of the Onyx combo cards that are in-game are now going to be purchasable through the um, Heroics using the Skulls. So that's uh, some more great news. And uh, anywho, thank you guys so much for listening to this and watching it. Thank you much, uh, so much for your support. If you're looking for tips or advice, feel free to join us in the Discord. I'll put a link in the description of the video. And uh, thank you again, guys. You're, you're so great. Happy holidays to you. Bye.